What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. Come back. I said I wasn't going to do January's box. But I did. And you'll understand why when you come back. Hope you enjoyed the intro i think you can see now why i ended up doing this month's box from bespoke post so let's lay it out here on the workbench this is the bare bones japanese nada tool okay um give you a little info on the what you've got here uh you got a 900d polyester sheath full grain leather accessory so this is all leather here and here um weighs 2.25 pounds now i'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of the sheath i will say there is a plastic liner down in the sheath that kind of protects the sheath itself uh you can see it is riveted somewhat um it is only single stitch on the sheath not a big fan of this and if i could ever figure out how to revert it to where i can make a dangler which i still may try to figure out a way to make a dangler to hang off of a belt then that's the way i'm gonna go with this but here it is now steel wise it is a 3cr 13 stainless steel um it's a big blade it's a big working blade. The way I view this is something, if you don't want to take an axe with you or machete, this would come in pretty dead blame handy. Um, processing wood, um, doing, you know, light stuff. You wouldn't do anything big. Now, total length of this thing is 19.5 inches. It's... 0.75 at its widest point and two inches high from I would say probably that point to that point um, it's a super thick piece of metal and sharp it is really sharp um, I'll grab this piece of paper I was kind of shocked at how sharp it really is I mean look at the edge it's taken off there um, and it's like that all the way down. Um, I like the stone wash finish up here at the top part of the blade. And then you've got this shine. Almost like a, to me it's almost like a Scandi grind here. Um, but then it's got this chisel type at the front. But it is sharpened on both sides. So you can do a lot of working with this particular tool. And like I said it is pretty sharp. I'm not going to grab hold to the blade then we'll be as careful as I can um, it's got a brass insert for a lanyard right there then the handles are screwed together um, says it's a uh, it's a um, oak finish doesn't say what kind of wood so I'm sure it's some kind of some kind of foreign wood or something of that nature uh, but it is full tang as you can see I can't wait to really get it out and play with it a little bit and uh, do some hacking with it and you know, pra you know play with it a little bit and uh, see what I can get you know as far as chopping wood like I said you wouldn't be able to chop anything too big um, I'd say nothing much bigger than that right there you know a good three inch diameter you could probably hack through it pretty quick with it because it's pretty dead blame heavy and all the weight is up in here so you've got a good grip on it um, I think you've got a good grip on it. My hands are, I wear extra large gloves. So, I mean, the, it, it's, it's got a good purchase. I love the way it feels. Um, 
but yeah, I wasn't going to do this month. And then I saw this pop up and I said, yeah, I got to try that. I got to try that. And there's the logo bare bones. Now, remember the box is $45 for the month. Um, I looked it up on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below for an Amazon. I think the last I saw was around 68 bucks. So I got a pretty good deal. Uh, that's why I went ahead and got it. Now, I think the sheath could be a little more to it. Um, but it, it'll suffice for what it is. Like I said, if it had something where it would dangle down a little bit, uh, not just up against your body. I'm not a big fan of that when, um, especially my knife that I carry camping, it has a dangler on it. So when you sit down somewhere, it gets out of your way. Now, this is a lot to get out of the way. I mean, let's don't, you know, fool ourselves. And you got 12 inches of working room with this knot, this blade. Um, so it, it's a big tool, but I think it would be a great camping tool um, as far as processing wood. And if you just didn't, you wanted to carry light, you know, carry your big knife and this. And I think you, I think you would uh, have a good one-two combination. All right. Well, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Um, but I wanted you to take a look at this because I was I was pretty impressed with it once I come in. Um, it would not fit in the mailbox. <laughs> I come home, the mailbox door is open. So, anyways, that's it for now. Uh, hope you appreciate it. I appreciate I appreciate the the blade. I think it's really cool. Um, so, anyway, uh, if you want to go check out Bespoke Post, I will leave a link down below. And you can check them out. Uh, like I said, I'm not affiliated with them. I don't get anything from them. But uh, I think it's a pretty cool blade. All right, that's it for now. Um, don't forget to sub, share, and uh, like the videos. Big thumbs up. That helps a lot. And we'll see you on the next one. Be prepared.